my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Now first of all, before I even start designing today's tutorial, I want to say a very big thank you to all those who patronized my PSD files. I realized most of you it's not because you only needed the PSD files but also because you wanted to support um, the work that I'm doing and I'm so grateful. I say a big thank you to you all. But this particular tutorial I want to dedicate it to Pastor Devrin because he requested for it. And so without further delay, let's just step into today's tutorial. So click on create new and then let's set this particular dimension for our flyer. We are going to use 2000 pixels here, 2000 pixels here. Make sure here is set to pixels, um, RGB color 8 bit, set here to color white, very important. And then let's also name it, uh, let's just see, wording anniversary, right? And then you click on create. Now you also want to go to view and then go to new guard layout. And then let's make sure this is not ticked. Let's set here to two. Let's set here to two. If you can't do it, make sure you click here and click here first and then click on OK. Now designing wedding anniversary flyers is almost similar to designing birthday flyers. They have many similarities. You just need to change some few contents and the wording and that's all. OK, so let's start with the background and then I would like to go here and then pick this rows and then drag the rows in there. Resize it this way. Drag it down here. Let's see. So let's just say something like this is quite great, but then let's just still resize it up. Let's set the opacity to 34. Now this is because we want it to be in the background. We don't want it to take too much attention. Let's also take the color out. Let's go for hue and saturation, clip it to it, and then set the saturation all the way here. Now we are beginning to achieve, we, we realize it's there, but we also see it's in the background. That's great. Let's also give it a curve just to boost the white areas a little bit. Let's clip it to it and then leave here like this. But here, just drag it all the way here. Great. Now you can see that the white areas, it just blend nicely into the background. And this is what we are looking for. Give it a mask over here. Click on your brush. Make sure it's a soft round brush. Opacity 100, flow 100. Even the soft round brush, make sure the hardness is also zero and then let's mask it okay so just click on the urges to mask it to it and then that's all now if you don't know how to mask i'm going to leave a link or you're going to click on the card on top of this video to see it all right so let's put this 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 and this in a group or a folder let's call it bg however we are not done with the background i want you to open it let's add few more elements to it let's drag this one here then let's leave it somewhere here let's resize it drastically and then let's see let's keep resizing it okay now when you're resizing it please take notice you need to hold shift or make sure you are resizing it within the proportion you don't want it to look so funny now let's also go and then let's pick this drag it in there now we don't need a lot we don't need a lot we just need about i think two right make sure caps lock is off and then Control g to cut it off right click it and then convert to smart object and then let's see let's click on this one let's drag it here i want us to do it this way awesome duplicate it Hold shift and then drag it up. Now I want you to give it a mask. Let's clean this one or let's mask it. Again, if you don't know how to mask, I have a video that tackles this particular problem. Make it quite small a little bit. I'll duplicate it again. And then let's drag it somewhere here. Let's make it much much more smaller duplicate it again let's make it quite bigger somewhere here all right so i think this might be great let's go here let's go back there again new guard layout make sure you click over here all right and then click here 
set here to one set here to one set here to one set here to one okay and so this all together makes the background now let's start with our photo frames as well and so let's go here and let's drag this one in there let's drag it here and then let's leave it somewhere here now let's go and then let's go and bring our image now also i perceive um you know how to cut your images and then if you don't um kindly um check my other tutorials you'll be able to do that so i drag it under it i'll give it a mask i'll go here click on my brush and then use a soft round brush and so whoever is watching this if you don't know how to cut images i'll leave a video in the description or also will appear on top of this video a card for you to click on it and to send you straight to that particular video okay so let's drag it here a little bit so whatever image you are having let's convert it to smart object whatever image you are having you'll be able to cut it out nicely for it to blend with the background so i think this is great for us uh, this is great for us and then um let's see let's put it in a group and then let's call it photo awesome now let's give it gradient map let's click over here let's click on gradient map here click over here let's click on this one that's black and white okay let's go here set it to soft light now this deepens the color and makes it more bolder I like that but let's give it 40 percent we don't want the full effect in there and so that's quite great now click over here and let's start with our logo as well so we'll click here and then we'll come and pick the name of the church and then i'll click over here click on here and then make sure this is selected and then i'm also going to use montserrat for this and then i'll set it to regular here set here to 24 enter and then over here i'll set it to 50 that's the tracking and then i'll set here to caps click over here make it color black and then that is it i'll duplicate it bring it down and then i'll come and pick this international now double click here and i'll paste it in there like that also using one syrup but then let's come here let's use extra bold awesome let's click over here set to 24 and then let's set here to one one zero great and then let's also make sure here's caps and then color black however i've seen a little okay so let's let's just drag it here a little bit okay let's drag it here a little bit ah, so i think this is great now i use the l over here as a guide to let me know if it's equal and then let's pick our logo icon let's drag it in there and then let's resize it like that now double click it and then let's go to color overlay click here let's set it to color black click here and then click here and then ctrl t let's resize it a little more and then let's drag it here let's see great now i think this is good so far let's put this 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 into a folder let's call it logo and then let's also make sure it falls in the middle of our line great now let's start with our text down here now it's a marriage flyer or marriage anniversary um, you could also use happy wording um, anniversary and so let's use Amarith, Amarith or Amarith. Make sure this is off. But what what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave every resource here in the description for you. For those who have access to the PSDs, you are going to have access to this PSD as well. And so, um, guys, patronize it, guys. And so this is it. And Amarith regular. And then we are going to set here to 130. And then here to zero great and then let's click here to make it more bolder let's click over here let's choose ae 06 
1.16 Great Alright guys, so let's try and keep it in the middle Let's drag it here a little bit more Okay Alright, so let's duplicate it And let's drag it down And let's pick Anniversary And then let's paste it there Let's keep anniversary in the middle. Awesome. However, let's drag anniversary down here. And then let's double click here and let's go to stroke. Now I want us to set here to color white. Click on OK. Let's set here to 2. Let's set here to 4. Outside normal 100% color white. Click on OK. And so you can see the effect here nicely. It helps us to distinguish the P from the A. Uh, so I think this is quite great. And then let's type here and let's pick this copy let's paste it here now click over here and then let's use mont serrat also the size over here let's set it to 31 now we are not going to use regular over here let's use semi bold we can't see it let's click on v or the move to let's drag it up so that we can see it drag it on top like that great let's also make sure it's in the middle let's set the tracking to zero click over here set it to color black and then let's take this one off and then that is pretty much it let's keep it in the middle again let's double click here let's go for the layer style let's click on stroke Still setting it to 4 outside normal 100% color white. Click on OK. Great. And then let's see. Let's put 1, 2, 3 in a group and let's call it Happy Wedding Annie. Alright, so that is it. Let's zoom out. Let's see how it looks like. I want to drag it up a little bit. OK awesome now we are just left with one more thing uh, so let's type over here and then let's pick fourth match and then let's paste it over here let's use this particular color we are using ae0616 awesome and then right click it and then let's rotate it 90 degree counterclockwise Let's drag it until it falls in the middle here. Let's zoom in and make sure it's really in the middle. Now let's open the character and then let's do these few corrections. Let's set it to Tiempo's headline. Let's also set here to regular. And then let's set here to 41. Make it a little bit bigger. And then let's set here to 100. Try to spread out a little bit more. And then let's click over here to make everything capital letters. And then that is it. Let's to make sure it's in the middle. It's not really in the middle. Alright, let's zoom out. And then let's pick our rectangular tool. And then let's drag it like that. Let's create a very thin line. And then let's zoom in. Ctrl T. Let's try and keep it also in the middle. And let's try and keep it in the middle of the text as well. Awesome. Now give it a mask. And then click on your brush. Go here and pick a hard round brush. If you can't find it, click over here and then go and click on the hard round brush. And close it. Hardness to 100%. And then the opacity and then the flow to 100%. We are going to mask it. So make sure your caps log is also off so you can see it. Click over here. And then mask it over here. Mask it over here. Now I think this is good. Except one thing. Let's change the color of this. And let's give it AE0616. And then let's give it this. And just like that. Everything looks cool now. Alright. So let's put this and this. And then let's call it. Um, date nice, and then this is just our color grading. 
so guys this is how you create something like this now guys if you love this video don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well don't forget i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace